respect to elders past and present. My name is Rita Malia. I have the very big privilege of being the president of the construction division of the CFMU and I can't be more prouder than days like this when our members and other union members come out uh, to voice how strong they are as a collective. So firstly, I would like to invite Thomas and I out here way uh, to do us as well in the country. Welcome Thomas. Thank you, Riva. Comrades, what a great start. Uh, my name's Thomas Mayo, I'm the National Indigenous Officer of the MUA. And uh, in paying respects to the traditional owners, uh, not just for this place, Gadigal land, unceded Aboriginal land, but all of this country, all of this country is unceded Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander land. And we pay our respects to that, comrades, as we always do as trade unions. And we are in a vital time in this country, a moment that Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people have worked hard for, that we have sacrificed for over many, many decades. We too, just like workers do, have fought for our rights and have fought for dignity. And we're coming up in October of this year, probably later this year, this country, you comrades, are going to have a chance to give the greatest respect to Indigenous people that you possibly can. And that is by voting yes in a referendum that will give our people a voice to always speak to our interests without anybody else. I tell you comrades, this here, what we are doing, is the voice of workers. Unions are the voice of workers. And the same people that are fighting against this referendum, that are running a no case, are the same enemies of workers. They don't want people to have a voice. They don't want ordinary Australians to have a way to come together, to speak to their interests, to stand up to them. And the same enemies that we have, Pauline Hanson, Andrew Bob, the Liberals, us having a voice. And so which side are you on, comrades? Are you on the no side with them or you are saying yes with us? Yes! So with that, we acknowledge country, we pay our respects to the traditional owners, we're going to take action, not just talk, but action. And we're all going to vote yes when that referendum comes and I want you to go to your workplaces, to your communities, speak to your families, tell them that this is the right thing to do, to give Indigenous people the respect and dignity that comes with a voice and vote yes. Thank you.